What's up, guys? This is Kefis. I'm trying to think about what what class and spec to level up next. I think next might be Druid because that was one that was requested before and I started it and I didn't get to finish it because other things took my attention. So I might actually, and it might be fun. I have plenty of Druids that I want to level up. Uh, it'll probably be on a different server than this one. And it will probably be Horde because leveling up the, uh, the Zandalari Troll Druid would be cool, and we have never leveled up a... Well, no, I shouldn't say that. I was going to say we've never leveled up a um, allied race, but uh, then again, I'm currently playing an allied race right now. So we have done that. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I kind of want to do that as well. So there's... I mean, there are lots of options. You know, so... And I also need, like, right now, if you if you want to get, like, any of the heirlooms, there are plenty of heirlooms that, that you can collect not only for the allied races, but for some of the main races. Now would be the time, obviously, to level those characters up so you can get those. Um, and, like, if you want to get the B mount and you don't have any alliance characters, that now would be the time to level up those characters. So if there is any leveling that you want to do, now is definitely the time to be doing that. So, you know, and for me, also, like, leveling up characters is a great way to make some side money. Like, because... I don't know about anybody else, but like my biggest struggle right now is making money in the game. Like I'm actually getting to the point where for the first time in like a couple years, I might actually have to pay for my WoW subscription, <laughs> which is kind of nuts. So um, I, I haven't really found any cool ways to make money. I don't have my what people call the long boy, the, the Brontosaurus mount. I don't have one. I don't think I'm ever going to get one because I don't feel like spending five million gold on that it's not a big deal to go back to the auction house might be something i regret later on i really don't like whenever they add um temporary things in the game like that i hate when they take things away some people like that but i hate that they can there can be something in the game that i can never get you know like a good example is in overwatch during a time when i wasn't playing they had this really cool promotion to help like fundraise the the breast cancer stuff and so there was this pink mercy skin that a lot of people have and i didn't play at the time and you can't get it now because it was an exclusive just for that event and i'm like please bring that back do another fundraiser i don't care anything i'd love to buy one uh but it's it's an exclusive and i don't know if they'll ever bring it back or not so like i would love it if they would like if they would just maybe not take those things out um it's just me though like i i think it's always good like because you know, an expansion down the road, hey, you can still go back and get the Brontosaurus mount. Like, it's something to go back and try to do. It's something to make money for, you know, and I, I hate when they, like, they might have perfectly good reasons to do it, but I hate when they take stuff like that out of the game. But that's just me. It's not, I mean, I wouldn't say it's, like, a horrible thing. I mean, I, I can see why there's appeal, you know, for it. Like, it, it, gives, it makes people feel good about having something that maybe other people don't have. Um because it's an exclusive so that i guess that kind of feels good for some people but i just i just never it's never really been something that i personally like um it kind of feels kind of and also like if you don't have it and you want to get it it kind of makes you feel like you have to grind to get it like right now because it's going to be gone soon um and that kind of sucks as well and like making money i kind of got spoiled i'll be the first to admit this with with uh legions um mission tables just because, like, I was going through some old tweets and I tweeted a three-day uh, screenshot of like my money, my money increase from the mission tables, and I was getting so much money in such a short amount of time, like that. Now it's kind of hard to make money because, like, you know, flying around, farming isn't really fun. Um, you know that, like, it's just ugh, it's not fun to do, uh, and then. Like, I'm not a big fan of, like, the auction house sitting there and trying to flip stuff or whatever. I just, I've never been a huge, huge fan of that. One of the ways that I kind of made money in this expansion was I was doing some tailor flipping, some cloth flipping, which did work for a little while, and then that kind of stopped working out as well. So, like, I don't know. I just, like, it's kind of hard right now, you know, to make money 
again, and that also applies because, like, you know, there's so many other games I want to play. The last thing I want to be doing is, like, flying around a zone trying to make some money. So, you know, I don't know. It's just not, like, it's one of those, again, I don't mind it so much in classic because, like, money is one of those things that you can make while you're doing something else. In retail, it's like you level up and then you're done leveling, so now you got to farm the money like you got to go around farming or if that's how you want to make your money or something else entirely and it's just not you know it's i don't know it's it's not fun to do anymore maybe maybe that'll change in the next expansion maybe there'll be something that's like a little bit more lucrative um but and it's fine you know i mean all i was doing with my gold was like buying blizzard bucks so i could pay for wild time or pay for some wow service so you know it's not a big deal it's Still, still can obviously get WoW, pay for WoW, it's, it's fine. It might even be more worth my time just to buy the expansion, or buy the subscription. <laughs> it might be more time uh, savvy to do it that way because it seems like the if you want to make, like the best way to make gold right now is actually just to work a normal job and then pay for uh, the, the gold tokens, which I think is really funny <laughs> if that's how it is right now. Um, so that's the most efficient thing to do. Uh, that's, that's what a lot of a lot of gold makers say. Well, if you're looking for the most efficient way to make gold and you don't like making gold, then just you know go work a job and buy a token. <laughs> that's the most efficient way. Um, which is not fun if unless you like if you actually enjoy uh, earning gold, which a lot of people do. You know, a lot of people actually do enjoy it. I do to a certain degree. Whenever I feel like like maybe what I'm doing is kind of fun. It's always exciting to see your gold uh, amount go up. Um, but when you have to like farm for, you know, two or three hours a day just to try to get like a little bit more gold, it's like, uh, I don't know, man. Don't know if I like that or not. So, okay, let's just keep going. Got a couple quests here. One of these quests I am not a fan of and I might not even do, so. Um, but we'll see. It's like the Simon Says quest. Alright, so we let's go down before we go over. We are already... We're about to hit 74. This is insane. Like, this is, this is like twice... Well, obviously, it's more than... It's like twice as fast. Like, it's... Okay, it's crazy. So, let's see. We gotta kill... I thought I had a... Was it to kill the giraffes? Let me see. Um, no... Yeah. Long neck. Yeah, it doesn't. So this quest has always been a little bugged. You want to kill these guys to get the meat, but it, they, it doesn't tell you that over their heads like it does with other quests. For some reason, they've never fixed that. I don't know. Maybe people just don't care to report it. But uh, yeah, as you can see, the giraffes. Sadly, I mean, no one likes killing giraffes, especially me, because giraffes are awesome. But you know, you got to get their meat. So, and uh, we need five. And also, those drafts don't, they don't give you credit for the uh, 60 um, creatures quest, which that's not a big deal. It just means killing more creatures, like this this tiger right here. He's going down, and he's going to count towards it. So, um, there's another one over there. I'm trying to think if I want to stay in Sholazar Basin for a little while longer, or if I want to move on to the next zone for the next uh, episodes. We'll see. I don't know. Grizzly Hills could go there. Like I said, I don't know what zones in. Wrath I like a lot because, like, I, I, I'm definitely burnt on like Morian Tundra and Howling Fjord because I've spent like I've done those so many times. Um, and then Dragon Blight's okay. There's actually like a lot of the zones are fine. There's a couple that aren't really fun to level in. Like, I don't think Ice Crown's that fun to level up in. It was really fun in game. Um, Storm Peaks is like the first bit of it's fine. And then there's like, you know, uh, Grizzly Hills is pretty cool. Sholzar Basin is awesome for leveling, um, but Zoldrak, like, uh, I don't know if I like, I don't think I like Zoldrak very much at all. Um, we're just going to kill these tigers. we got to finish this quest anyways. Um, so yeah, like, it's it's kind of a mixed bag, and like, I think, because there are some zones, like, uh, especially in, in Vanilla, um, that I love finishing all the way through, like the wet, uh, Westfall is a good example of that. I always play Westfall all the way through because it's very easy. Lock Modan is another one that's really easy. Um, and now, honestly, like, I thought for the longest time that the starter zones, like Elwyn Forest, Dunmoreau, those zones, Mogor, um, I thought those capped out at level 20. 
and I could have sworn that's how it was at first. But it seems like now they cap out at 60. So if I was mistaken the whole time, or maybe that was like a change later on that I didn't know about, um, or just got it mixed up. But you can actually go back later on and do starting zones. Starting zones in particular are good because they're everything's so closely packed together, um, which would which is good because like you, you'll you'll navigate through it very quickly. Uh, depending on the starting zone. So like obviously if you play Alliance, I highly recommend that at some point you go to Elwyn Forest. Doesn't matter what level you are. You, you don't have like a um, an achievement for that. So if you're trying to do the achievements, then don't worry about it because I don't believe that there is one for, for Elwyn Forest. There isn't like a story checker, a story chapter thing to kind of guide you. Um, which is weird because there is, a, I think those zones have stories. Uh, but it's they're definitely good to go and go in and do like um, uh, for Horde, Molgor is very easy. Uh, it's it's worth doing. Uh, and honestly, Trisfall Glades has is, is got a really good story. So, like, if you're Horde, going to Trisfall Glades and playing through that is actually not a bad idea because it tells a really cool, really awesome story. I actually covered it in a video. Hint, hint, you can go check that out. Story of uh, Tel... Was it... Not Teldrassil. Did I say Teldrassil? I'm sorry. I meant um, Trisfall Glades. Jeez, I'm bad with names. Always have been. Always will be. <laughs> but um, you can go do that one as well. Um, tells the story of Lillian Voss. Spoilers. I won't tell you what happens, but it's pretty sweet to see her origins. All right, let's Wrong. do this. We have to turn this quest in. Oh, and Lord. that's it. Okay, well, that was not... Oh, is there another quest? No. Just seeing things. Just seeing things I want to see. Wishful seeing. Um, what are we doing here? We need to... Oh, we gotta do the, the tracks. That's an easy one to do. We'll go up and do that one. Um, so, like, that's just a random side note, I guess. Go up, and, like, when you're leveling through the beginning of the game, go to the starting zones. And, and then, like, the the next level zones, so, like, Westfall, Lock Modan, those are great, too, because of the same reasons. They're not designed for people with mounts. So, if you go and do those, um... You know, then you're gonna be like you're gonna be like flying through them, and you'll get tons of experience because they're smaller in scale, and they're more closely packed, and they're also really easy. So um, that's another thing that, to consider as well. Now, I don't I don't have like the the breakdown. Like I'm sure there are people out there that have like you know done the math in terms of how much experience you get and how quickly you can get through the zone. So there might be a guide out there like that. But just from my anecdotal experience. Um, doing all the, the lower level zones will get you through the fastest. So if you're trying to level up quickly, um, that's something to do. But I, I honestly recommend, though, if you're leveling up a bunch of characters, especially if you haven't already, go through at least... You don't have to do them all in the same character, but go through all of the zones throughout your characters and try to experience all the storylines. Um, whether it's because you want to hear the story, which, you know, honestly, a lot of the stories are really good. They're really fun. Um, if it's if it's not that, if you want the achievements, the Warwalker achievement, then you know there's there's other incentives. So there are a lot of good reasons to go through and level up characters right now, where you can get you know you can level up, you can get some achievements, um, you can make a little gold on the side. Look at that, we flew right through that quest. Um, you know, there's so there's a lot of different things that you can do. Um, you know, if you wanna if you wanna like level up right now and it's worth it. So consider the the options and then of course um i'm not sure about like so i like doing bc quest lines like we did bc for a while because like i like doing a bunch of quests and then turning them all in i kind of missed the old hub questing method it wasn't like i didn't miss it when it was gone but over time now like going back i'm like i don't know i kind of miss it i like turning in 20 quests at once it's kind of exciting um and you kind of get that a little bit in mulgore uh which is why i kind of recommend doing mulgore if you're horde uh but you know, and then there's, um, I'm trying to think, uh, what's after Wrath and BC? So it's like Pandaria and Cataclysm, right? So in that section, I don't recommend doing, um, what is it? Uh, the Vashir, unfortunately. I love that zone. I loved leveling through it when I first played through Outlands, or I mean, through Cataclysm. I will get my names right, I promise. The problem with, um, the problem with that, with that zone, I'd love to do it for the series, but the problem with that zone, Bashir, is that it's very bugged now. So, and plus it gives me a little bit of anxiety because I have the fear of underwater, so um, that's not fun. I don't like 
the thought of giant fish down in the dark deep ocean ugh, it creeps me out we talked about that a couple episodes ago so <laughs> but the zone is also really bugged out so you know i wouldn't recommend trying to level up there but the hygel is really good hygel is a great zone to level in so um you know you can do that one um honestly a lot of the cataclysm ones are pretty good uh, a lot of them are because like you've got hygel then you've got what's the one the one underground d deep uh oh i can't think of the name of it hang on a second while i'm killing this thing i'll look it up uh maybe maybe i will maybe i will there we go deep home that's what it's called um that's not a bad zone to level in it's pretty long uh, there's plenty of quests to do it'll probably carry you through quite a lot so if, and then like you have other the two other ones <laughs> like actually cataclysm section is actually probably one of my favorites now because you can do that or pandaria so you know you can go to old doom um which you might want to not want to do for a while after um, 8.3, which is understandable because people are spending a lot of time in Old Doom. Um, and then there's Twilight Highlands, which is kind of cool. There's a little bit of a like a lead-up quest line that you have to do, which is kind of annoying. So a lot of people don't even really bother with that one. Uh, but then you could also go to Pandaria. So if you don't want to do Cataclysm, um, maybe like I usually at least do a little bit of Hygel and get a decent way through, and then I'll switch over to Pandaria. You start at Jade Forest. Uh, Jade Forest is a fun, fun zone to level in, in my opinion. There's one quest that I, as a visually impaired person, have trouble with, and it's probably why, I don't know, if we'll stay in Jade Forest for very long. I usually stop at the quest, but it's this quest where you have to, like, do, it's a sniper mission. I had the hardest time doing that. When I first played through, because, like, no one could help me either. Like, I had to do it myself. I probably spent a good two hours on that while people were just, like, passing ahead of me. Because I could not, I just couldn't get it. It took me a long time, I finally got it. So, um, and I've managed to do it several times since then, but I just, that quest is frustratingly difficult for me. So, um, I usually move on from there. I usually go right from Jade Forest to Kunlai Summit. I skip over um, Valley of the Four Winds, which Valley of the Four Winds isn't even that bad. But I usually go right on the Kunlai Summit, and then I don't even, like, I'm, I'm moving on to the next expansion after Kunlai Summit because you level up so fast. That's with heirlooms, of course. But, you know, like, there, there are others, like, other Pandaria zones aren't too bad. Um, there's a lot of good options. They're all, you know, just depends on what you like, but none of them are really that bad, in my opinion. It's, it's such a cool, chill world just to kind of go and explore. So, you know, you could, in honestly, you probably could start, and, and if you don't want to do any Cataclysm, you could just do entirely Pandaria, depending on what zones you like, but... I don't know, Cataclysm and Pandaria, as much as I didn't like their expansions as a whole, um, well, I liked Pandaria a little bit. The class design was good, raids were good. It was it was more like the end game that wasn't all that great. Um, but like the zones are amazing. Same with Cataclysm, like Cataclysm had some pretty cool raids. Uh, well, kind of, the raids were okay. They, they weren't, the, actually, you know what? Cataclysm's raids were kind of mixed, um, but the leveling zones were pretty cool. Um, and then after that, what's after Pandaria? Oh, Warlords. Uh, again, though, like, Warlords is amazing leveling through. Because not only are the zones cool, uh, you know, like the storylines and stuff, which, you know, they, they, a lot of them reward a really cool cutscene. Um, but, like, you can level up so fast with the garrison stuff. Like, you get a garrison potion that gives you more experience. You can just go around hunting treasures, which will level you up insanely fast. It's also when they did the... Um, I don't think that's not when they did world quests, but they did these like world, um, like questing areas where like you would just do some objectives and get a crap ton of experience. Um, when we get there, because you have to go to Warlords, unfortunately, they didn't like pair that with anything. Um, but when we get there, though, you will see like how fast we're going to level through that, especially if we still have this buff by then, which we might because <laughs> it's not, it's going to be around at least till the end of April, and depending on how long. All this stuff in the world is going on. It might even be around longer than that. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But I kind of I kind of hope they keep it around just to give people something to be excited about during. I think it's I think that it's um you know I'm sure that it, you know it's a good way to entice people to stick around and wow. But it, I think it's also a really cool thing that they're doing um, to give people something to be like you know to be excited about their game. Hang in hang inside the house and play some wow. You know level up some characters. That'll take up a lot of your time. Um, now is the best time to be like a shut-in playing World of Warcraft, that's for sure. Um, so like if this sticks around for a while, we'll definitely be seeing how fast we level through Warlords. I'd like to see that. Um, 
So, like, you go through Warlords, you get a bunch of treasure chests, like, level up insanely fast, you probably get through that in a couple hours, even without the leveling boost. Like, it's, it really is fast. Um, like, I don't even know if you have to do any quests if you didn't want to. Like, maybe some, but it just depends. You level up through it. The only thing that sucks is you have to go through that starting intro quest line, which some people like, and I don't even mind it that bad, but it just sucks that you have to do it. I don't think you can skip past it, so that's unfortunate. Um, but once you get through it, and you get through Warlords, you move on to Legion. And Legion isn't too bad. I I don't know. I don't. I didn't really care much for Legion's leveling experience. Legion had a really fun end game, but I, I mean, the leveling was okay. I didn't... That's when they introduced the scaling, and you could kind of pick which zone you wanted to go to. Um, which really didn't matter entirely, because you had to go through them all anyway, so it was kind of like a meaningless choice. But at least you could, like, choose which one you felt like doing in the moment. So that was kind of cool. Um, but, you know, you get through Legion. Legion has those invasion events, which are really awesome. You can, it can really speed you through the, the, whole, like, the whole area. We might try to catch one of those when we're leveling up through here. I'll have to try to keep my eye out and plan ahead. Because um, that'll probably give us a crap ton of experience. And then, of course, you lead to BFA, which, again, I actually didn't mind the leveling experience. It's obviously a little bit slower because it's the newer stuff. But... Uh, you know, leveling in BFA, honestly, isn't too bad. The storylines are cool. The zones are awesome. Um, one thing that BFA did not have a problem with was its zone themes. Um, for both the Alliance and Horde, quite frankly. I like them both. Uh, so the, uh, I think, I, I don't know. I kind of like, I, don't, I, don't, I think I like them both equally, too. I don't think I prefer one over the other. Because um, I like when I think of Alliance, I think of either Stormsong Valley which is really pretty, or I think of, what's the other one called? The, not Duskwood, but I cannot, for the life of me, think of what it's called off the top of my head, but it's like the darker one with the, the scary looking monster human things. <laughs> I don't know. You guys know which one I'm talking about. That zone is really sweet. I'm really bad. Like my, my brain is like on like half power right now. It's ridiculous. Uh, but like, and then for Horde, I think of Voldoon. And the jungles, just either one of them. Nazmir is really awesome. It's really fun to level up there. So, like, BFA is really fun to level up in. So, it's going to be crazy when um, the next expansion hits and you can, like, narrow all that down even more. And I imagine, I don't know for sure, but I imagine you could probably switch at any time if you wanted to. So, like, I think what happens is when you start off, I mean, we'll see when we actually get there. But when you start off, like, it'll be like, what, which expansion do you want to level up in? And you kind of make a choice. Um, I would imagine that you'll be able to uh, switch at any time. Uh, and now we got to look for the right fruit um, to do whichever one you want. So if that's the case, then leveling won't be so bad when the when the patch hits. You know, when they when they change when they change things around, it'll give people more incentive to level up maybe because it won't take as much time. Because like leveling isn't that slow to be honest. I mean, if you play classic, you know how slow leveling is. It's much much slower, uh, even though. Like, retail has way more levels. Uh, classic feels it, it is a lot slower. Um, but retail feels daunting because of the sheer number of, uh, of levels that you have to actually do. So what I'm looking for are these vines. Luckily, the game makes them glow now. I used to have the biggest trouble with this one. So, uh, perfect. We got the dwarf. She gave us what we needed, and that got us through that. I usually get hung up on that quest. So that was kind of cool. Um... So, like, switching, like I said, like, so even though retail has more levels, classic is slower, but because of the amount of levels that retail has, it's like, man, I don't think I want to do this because I don't want to level up through 120 levels. Um, so it's, it's funny how much the number can impact, like, how the way your mind perceives uh, the speed and the, the task at hand. It's crazy. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking that like button. And feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. Don't forget, you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you'd like, you can support this channel on Patreon. Links to all of this can be found in the description below. This is Kefis, until next time.